Hello, Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to November of 2022, and welcome to your general energy reading for this time period. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, this is a fairly timeless reading. We are channeling and bringing forward this message for you during the month of November of 2022, but it does not have to absolutely resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yes, please keep that in mind. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested in it. I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up there. And also while we're on the topic of uh, personal readings, um, if you would like to get a discount on your personal readings, then I highly recommend that you check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. For certain tiers, you can either get a 10% discount or a 20% discount. There's also a tier that allows you to have a, um, uh, that gives you a 30 minute live session or recorded freestyle reading with me included in your subscription to Patreon for that specific tier. And that is a $10 discount from the original price of your personal reading, whether that be a 30 minute session or a, um, a, a 30 minute live session or a recorded freestyle reading. Plus, all of the uh, catalog and all of the readings that have ever been posted over on Patreon, plus any new ones that are posted as well. It's a really good deal. If you're interested in that, check it out. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link can be found in the description box below. Let's get into this, Cancer. So first thing that I'm feeling for you is uh, green energy. And I feel like at this point, at this moment, you are in a really good space. I just feel a very happy, very positive energy for you. Some of you may be very excited because we are getting into the holiday season. Um, I feel excitement for you. I feel excitement surrounding your home and your family life. Again, that could be because of because we're getting into the holiday season, the holiday season, uh, November, December. Um, you know, that could be a really wonderful time for you. Uh, it, it, it could be something you're very excited about it could be one of your favorite moments of the year um, there could be some really wonderful things happening within your family for some of you this specific holiday season may turn out to be really extra special because of any sort of healing um, and or completion I'm hearing that may have happened for you any ways that you may be able to heal and reconnect with certain family members um, I am picking up on that for some of you here and that's actually a very exciting thing it may not be anything that you truly expected to happen it may be a really happy really pleasant surprise um, but I'm just seeing green energy for you I feel like you're your heart is open, you're happy, you're feeling safe, you're feeling loved, or at least things are just really good for you at this moment, okay? That's excellent. All right, that's really the first thing that I'm gonna get, that I'm getting for, here, for you here. Let's get into the rest of the, the, the message here and see what messages we have for you for this time. For my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what's going on for Cancer? First card you have is the Knight of Wands. The first thing that I'm getting for this Cancer is that you're taking up some sort of charge. I'm also hearing you're leading the way somehow. Um, I, I, le I see you leading a group of people somehow being some sort of torch bearer, okay? Feeling very confident in um, the challenges that you're facing, um, whatever it is, whatever charge it is you're taking up at this time. What's going on for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising at this time. Please, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? Okay, the next card you have is the King of Swords. And then finally, you have the Emperor. Yeah, there is some sort of energy here, Cancer, of you taking up some sort of charge, leading the way somehow. Overall energy is the Hermit. Now, in terms of that family energy, maybe you are the individual that is helping to bring um, others together, being some sort of intermediary. I, um, I'm looking at this King of Swords energy here, and I get this feeling that you are the judge and or the jury here. I feel like you may be working on handling things, some things for some people. Someone may call upon you. You may be called upon somehow to really help decipher through things. You may be um, called to be some sort of objective third-party influence who looks at the situation from the outside in 
and um, helps to decipher, helps to make a decision, or at least helps to define things for someone else so that they can make a decision. For others of you, or maybe just for yourself, this would be represented as you taking this lead here, you being more of an objective party in your own life in terms of something um, to help make a decision. But really, Cancer, the strongest feeling that I'm getting for you at this time for this message is that you are being called upon to lead. The overall energy for you is the hermit. And I feel like it's your wisdom, it's your insight, it's your ability to see through the malarkey, through the shenanigans. Um, it's the, the, the wisdom that you hold, the experience that you hold maybe that um, puts you in a position to lead the way somehow, okay? You have the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Emperor, all right? And I, I really, Cancer, the dominant feeling that I'm getting for you here is that you are being called to lead the way somehow. Um, you are able to. You have the ability to. You have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. I really also want to say you have the self-awareness. I really truly feel like you are, somebody here is being called upon to stand in, in a leadership position because of Maybe it's the way that you conduct yourself. Um, maybe the universe is rewarding you with this type of position because of all the work, the self-healing, the self-reflection you may have done. Some of you may have spent a long time in some sort of hermit mode here. I mean, I, that's a pretty generic thing to say to a Cancer because, because Cancer, cancer tends to like to go into their, into their shells, likes to be in hermit mode. Um, and also many of us on this spiritual journey at this point are very much familiar with a time period of, uh, well, multiple rotating time periods of going into our shells or going into some sort of hermit mode and then coming out back out refreshed and renewed. But honestly, Cancer, the strongest thing that I'm feeling for you, the strongest message that I have for you so far is that you are being called to lead. You are being called to be that judge and or jury. You are called, you are being called upon um, by your friends and or your family because of your ability to be as and remain as objective as possible, okay? You are either being called on to make a decision or you're being called on to help someone else make a decision because of your objectivity, your ability to be objective. Whether this is, you know, something that's very personal to you because like, like in terms of like your family members or maybe even your friends, um, I do feel like there is an energy here that it may be something that is personal to you, which technically would kind of uh, complicate that ability to be objective, but I do feel like you still have this ability to be objective, as objective as possible, and you're still being called on. Or this is a situation in which you are being, you are a third party, or you are someone who is on the outside of the situation who is able to bring an objective point of view. Uh, the strongest thing that I'm getting, especially from this King of Swords energy here, really the focus for you right now in terms of this energy is this King of Swords. Um, your ability to remain as objective as possible is the reason as to why you are being called upon to be to stand in this position and to lead the way and to make some sort of decision with the Emperor here, okay? Okay, let's, um, I want to clarify the King of Swords. Spirit is saying, let's clarify this King of Swords first for you, Cancer. King of Swords for Cancer. What's the King of Swords here? We have the Nine of Cups. Your ability to be happy is what I just heard. The Two of Pentacles. Ah, okay. Okay. Anything else for the King of Swords? Yes. And the Seven of Wands. All right, that's making sense. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Someone may be calling upon you to handle their estate for them. I mean, the only thing that we have here in terms of this is, uh, I'm sorry, in terms of this energy to, to represent money or someone's estate would be the Two of Pentacles here. You have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Um, 
So, uh, but, but really in terms of that, if that resonates for you, the only real, the main reason why I'm saying that is because I'm hearing it. I'm feeling it. That energy is present here. So you could be called upon to help someone organize and keep a handle upon their estate. But basically what I'm getting from this energy, you have the nine of cups, the two of pentacles and the seven of wands, overall energy being the seven of swords. It feels like someone is unable to keep their finances in check or is unable to balance their life out when it comes to, uh, pleasureful aspects about life, the, the nine of cups. It's as if somebody here is unable to, um, maybe even has been unable to balance pleasure, balance pleasure with responsibility, you know, and responsibility may be some sort of commitment that they have made to their partner, to a friend, a family member, but also responsibility could be in terms of, you know, having to keep their finances in check or being able to be available and present for whatever commitments they have made. And I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is commitment here doesn't necessarily mean a commitment in a romantic situation, okay? Their duties, their obligations, um, finances could absolutely be a thing. I feel like somebody has been maybe squandering their money or not keeping enough finances uh, or keeping enough of an eye on their finances. Someone needs, someone is in need and maybe cancer, and, and quite frankly, you guys, the, the roles could be reversed here. So maybe cancer, you are calling some on someone else to help do this for you. But somebody here has not been able to quite frankly, keep their finances in check. I feel like somebody has been spending too much on their, on, on certain pleasurable aspects of their lives instead of being able to hold boundaries for themselves. Okay. Seven of wands, hold boundaries for themselves and say, look, I've spent enough or no, I can't do that right now. Or no, I can't afford that right now. Or, you know, no, I really shouldn't be engaging in or indulging in that right now because I have X, Y, and Z to do. I mean, it could, be very basic as you know I have to be up for work in the morning but so that means I can't go out and party tonight you know that that kind of energy take it as it resonates and with this seven of swords here somebody has been deceitful about it someone has been unable to be honest is someone is lacking in their in honesty when it comes to this situation and so whomever this king of swords is that's being called upon this person is coming in and saying okay well let me investigate give me all of the documents give me all of your bank statements give me all of the Tell me about what you've been doing and what has been going on and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to decipher through this and I'm going to be as objective with you as possible and I'm going to lay it out here for you. Okay, I'm going to lay it all out on the table. At this point, this individual is no... It, it, it's, it's quite obvious that whomever is in question here has not been able to be as honest as possible either with others, people that they, they answer to, or even honest as honest possibly with themselves to be able to say or to make a plan of action or to decipher through things or to decide upon something. And that's why this King of Swords energy, or maybe even person, is being called upon here to make to 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 be honest, to get through the illusion, to 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 see. Okay, because we're using the mystical manga deck this month, um, and I, I really like the way. And actually, I said this. Who did I say this to? I think I might have said this to Gemini. Um, but in this card, this individual, it's, I mean, it's depicted typically as someone trying to get away with something or someone, you know, trying to steal something, maybe being less than honest with someone about something. But, ultim but here, ultimately, on this card, you do have these two eyes that are seem to be coming out of the sky or coming out of nowhere like remotely even like remote viewing psychic viewing or something like that but the point here is that this person may think they're getting away with it but they're not they're being seen okay seven of swords here underneath this is at the bottom of the deck clarifying overall energy clarifying the king of swords underneath that is the four of pentacles for some of you here something about this feels like this is a um a deeply rooted habit 
And that could be very well be that could very well be the reason as to why the person in question here is unable to be honest with themselves about it because it's something that's deeply ingrained within them. Um, and so it's so it's so much a part of their normal life that um, it like blends into the atmosphere. They can't see it for themselves. They need someone else to come forward. They need some sort of objective third party outside source to come in and look at it and define it for someone so that they can start to see it for themselves. And then ultimately, hopefully make, uh, make the proper changes or deal with it on their own further on down the line, okay? Let's clarify the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands at this point, well, at first it felt like someone coming in with uh, a, a, as a torchbearer, someone leading the way. And that, yes, that still does apply here. But now that we've been talking through this energy cancer, I feel like also this Knight of Wands may be the individual in question feeling inspired to say, I've got to go in a new direction. I feel like the Knight of Wands might be this individual saying to themselves, I need help. I need to ask someone how to do this or ha ask someone to help me and feeling inspired by it. Finally feeling ready to, and passionate about to, I'm also hearing, finally feeling ready to let their guard down and, and let someone come in to help them from an objective point of view. Okay, clarify this Knight of Wands energy for Cancer, please. What is this Knight of Wands energy for Cancer? First card is the Seven of Pentacles. So the Knight of Wands also ultimately feels like the solution. We have the Page of Wands, a new creative direction and a new me and a, and a message, and then the Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting. Okay, Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So overall energy is the Page of Swords. Finding out, deciphering. Um, gaining intel, gaining knowledge, uh, doing research, observing. The scout is that page of swords energy. Um, Seven of pentacles, page of wands, queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles could also be that individual that's coming in to help, but also really the queen of pentacles energy feels like a theory, a practice an energetic vibration that someone is meant to or is trying to get into. The Queen of Pentacles energy feels like that energy of preservation, saving money, um, not giving, you know, not squandering their finances or not squandering their energy, uh, self-preservation, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands energy, which is what we're clarifying right now, Cancer, feels like the solution feels like the way forward, okay? Because you have the seven of pentacles energy here. Whatever is found out, okay? Whatever is um, uh, deciphered, whatever is, whatever the, whatever intel that this investigation yields, the night of, uh, uh, okay, sorry. Whatever intel that this investigation yields cancer, it's going to show you what needs to be done. Seven of Pentacles. It's going to give you the answers, the understanding of how to change or reshape or adjust your harvest. The Seven of Pentacles can be that energy of like Einstein's definition of insanity, of doing something the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. But also the Seven of Pentacles is that checkpoint and also harvest time or checkpoint energy in which you look at your garden or you look at your yield within your garden and you say to yourself, is this what I want? If the answer is yes, excellent. Let's keep going the way we have been going to continue to receive what it is we are receiving at this time. But then on the other hand of the situ on the other side of the situation, if the answer to that is no, then the seven of pentacles says, okay, well, at its very core, it says, all right, well, we obviously we've got to change the way we do things. Right. So whatever is yielded within this investigation, page of swords as the overall energy, we have a change in alignment, a change in message, a change in the way that we approach the situation, the page of wands. And that has a lot to do with self-preservation, the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is that type of individual or that type of energy to say, this is what we need to do to clean up your situation, or this is what we need to do to preserve our situation, okay? Um, with that, we have the 10 of cups, 
to the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles energy is that archetype that seems to be being embodied at this time by this individual in question that's going to help them rebuild, reshape their situation, potentially working with someone else to lead them towards their goals, their wishes, their desires, their maybe even happy ending, their ultimate wish fulfillment, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so what this was all clarifying the Knight of Wands, which at this point does feel like the solution to the problem, the way forward. Okay, this is really excellent, Cancer. If this is resonating with you, I highly encourage you to take this opportunity because this is really, this really could be a moment, Cancer, where you turn a lot of things around. And most likely, this feels, this is, this is, this is most likely in, a ter in terms of finances. Okay. Now, it very well could be because it could very well be through a level of self-reflection here, okay? Page of Swords, the Hermit. Like I was saying earlier, the Hermit does feel like um, someone could potentially be someone being called in to uh, because of their, their own sense of self-reflection or maybe even how they have gotten themselves through a situation like this. But also in terms of this situation, the hermit here does represent or can represent the individual in question coming to this solution or this understanding of how to move forward through a level of self-reflection. Okay, and I do see that person also, the person in question, also kind of embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy. This could be a moment, Cancer, in which you or this individual starts to find the energy of the Queen of Pentacles within themselves, okay, and starts to really bring that out. The Queen of Pentacles is that archetype um, of self-preservation, preservation of the family, of the unit, preservation of the resources, not allowing themselves to be, to, to squander their resources, not allowing themselves to be associated with situations that only use, take advantage of, blah, 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 that kind of energy. The Queen of Pentacles is also an energy of knowing one's self-worth and not accepting anything less than what, what is deserving of, worthy of, okay? Excellent. Last thing that I want to clarify for you, Cancer, is the Emperor. So what is this Emperor energy for Cancer here? The Two of Swords. <laughs> Justice. Anything else for the Emperor? For Cancer? Aha, and then the Four of Cups, but the Four of Cups is reversed. All right, overall energy is the Knight of Cups. That's interesting. So the Emperor is another energy of a certain archetype here. It could represent an individual. It could represent a person putting this process of, or this process and or this way forward into place. But really, the Emperor ener the energy of the Emperor feels more like, um, a theory or an archetype. If the, what resonates the most about the emperor is what he stands for, not necessarily just a person, but it could be a person that is implementing this. But the emperor is the energy of setting boundaries, right? The emperor is controlling by nature, but when he is upright, when he is balanced, when he is well aspected, um, when he is a healthy, energetic person, uh, uh, representation or a healthy energy within your life, the emperor sets boundaries in order to protect, not to control, but in order to protect and preserve. And the feelings here for the emperor energy for you, Cancer, is that either you or for this person in question, you're probably going to have to hold strict boundaries or you're probably going to have to be within a pretty strict regimen here in order for you to reach your goal. That's the thing about the emperor. The emperor knows or has deciphered or understands what the goal is. He also knows how to get there, or at the very least, he is the one to set the boundaries to say, we are going to do X, Y, and Z in order for us to reach our goal. Okay. Many times what I like to, how I like to describe the energy of the emperor is a recipe. 
and not just uh, any old recipe for like a, a, a like cooking like making like dinner or lunch or something no 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 no, no. i'm talking about baking okay <clears throat> because those of you that have ever baked before or those of you that are bakers or are familiar with bakers you familiar with baking you know that baking is a science okay you if if you want a specific outcome you have to follow a specific recipe. It's not, it's not, I mean, cooking is a little bit similar, but there's a lot more leeway for cooking, okay? But when it comes to baking, like say a cake or making like something as specific or advanced as like a croissant or um, puff pastry, or you know what I mean? Like something, you have to follow a specific recipe. You cannot follow the recipe for an angel food cake expecting to get some sort of, this is extreme, but like expecting to get like a chocolate lava cake. You know what I mean? Like it, it, that, yes, that's a very extreme situation, but at this point, I think you understand what I'm saying. So the emperor here is representing that energy of a strict regimen or holding strict boundaries or following a plan okay this could be a diet plan this could be a financial health plan anything a mental health plan an emotional health plan whatever the emperor represents following that plan the emperor is 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 clarified by the two of swords you cannot deviate from this plan okay you cannot focus on it do not allow yourself you cannot allow yourself or this person cannot allow themselves to get distracted no distractions here two of swords in order for that justice to be served the emperor is clarified by the two of swords justice and the four of cups this might this part of the message might seem a little bit harsh but this is also where the emperor comes in and actually what spirit is saying this is where the emperor is needed i don't care if you don't want to do it you not wanting to do it is not an option anymore you would not be, and, and quite frankly, and we do not say this to hurt you, to harm you, to reprimand you, to degrade you, to feel like you're being judged. There is no judgment here. Obviously, this is coming from a very compassionate place. Your overall energy is the Knight of Cups. But this energy of the Emperor, this strict regimen, this strict plan would not need to be put in place if you weren't apathetic or lacking in responsibility or being shirking your responsibilities or ignoring the circumstances in the past, the Four of Cups, it's time to, it's time to stop ignoring this now. The Four of Cups is reversed, okay? It's time to stop ignoring this now. In some cases, this person or you cannot afford to ignore this any longer. And thus, the emperor is coming in and saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is our plan. And this is the plan we're going to stick to. This is the plan we're going to follow. If you want justice, if you want this situation to turn around, if you want to balance these scales, no more distractions and no more ignoring the situation. That's really the best. I feel like there's a another phrase that I could use to describe this. But right now, the only thing that's coming to mind, I guess the best way to say it is you can't ignore this any longer. This could be health also, okay? Okay. Overall though, Cancer, keep in mind, please do not take offense here. We're not trying to be mean. This is coming from a loving place, okay? The Knight of Cups is the overall energy clarifying this emperor. Compassion. We want you to be safe. We want you to be healthy. We want you to succeed, okay? There is a certain level of discipline that needs to be brought into place here but again it's coming from a loving and open-hearted place compassionate place closing message final closing message for you cancer oh yes this is what i like to see the ten of swords very very good the situation is finally either is coming to an end has come to an end depending on when this happens for you or when you're watching this or it's finally has the ability, you finally have the ability to close this situation out, okay? Finally, finally, the Six of Swords is upright. Yep, Six of Swords. Yep, see? Moving forward. Anything else? This closing message? Okay. What is, Spirit, what are these? I can't, I'm trying to decipher whether these should be taken upright or reversed. 
<sighs> They're confusing me here. I can see these both ways, and that's kind of what they're saying. Okay, overall energy is the Page of Swords. We're back to the Page of Swords again. You have the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, and then you have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Coins, or the Page of Pentacles. Um, they did come out of the deck reversed, and I guess Spirit is saying take them, as, take them as they initially came out. It's reversed. Okay. Um, what I feel like here is the reason why these are reversed was because Ultimately, before you reach this moment of being able to close out this situation for yourself, Cancer, um, you or this person were in a page of pentacles state and you were unable to achieve a higher state of awareness or responsibility or reality outside of this page of pentacles energy. But mainly that's because you were, or this person was shirking their responsibilities somehow. And so thus they were still in a page of pentacles state. They weren't able to, they weren't able to make, or you weren't able to make progress. You weren't able to progress from the page to the knight, then ultimately to the queen, to the king. This person or you were stuck in and were persevering from a place of the page of pentacles and that's why these energies are reversed because this is what you are coming out of at this point you are being presented with a way to progress is what spirit is saying and then overall energy is the page of swords I really feel like either you or this person, Cancer, has a golden opportunity to learn, to grow, and to succeed. So I want to encourage you in this final message, I want to encourage either you or this person to really keep your eyes open and really humble yourself in some cases, but also to really work on learning as much as you can from this situation that you are now finally pulling yourself out of and also from the individuals that are the individuals or the individual that is helping you but also this process okay the process ahead the process moving forward because ultimately you're really going to be able to apply this to your to your life in the future to even to get you even higher and higher to progress even more and even more even more you know but ultimately the closing message here is that this situation is finally coming to a close and you or this person are finally moving forward. Congratulations to you. There you have it, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly hope that was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, please check out the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And if you would like to support the channel, get some extra content with me throughout the month, and even potentially get a discount on some of you on your personal readings, then please check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine karma conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, Cancer, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>